And further to the Commissioner in my press conference this morning, there has been no change in the condition of Detective Senior Constable Darren Leiden at the Gold Coast Hospital. He's presently in the intensive care unit with his family and loved ones present in a dangerously ill condition. That will be monitored and all necessary support and assistance is being placed to him and his family. Behind me here, ladies and gentlemen, it will be led to the scene of this incident last night and whereby the detectives were the first response to an armed robbery in progress at this licensed premises. Inquiries have been conducted and earlier this morning the Commissioner and I announced that uh, two persons of interest were assisting us with our inquiries. I can now add to that a third person is now assisting us with our inquiries in relation to this matter. At this point in time, as the Police Commander for the area, I'm quite confident that we have every person involved in this incident in our custody assisting us with our inquiries at this stage. And there is certainly no fear for the community here in Pack Pines in relation to this matter to be alarmed that there are large large number of people at large with firearms in relation to it. In relation to the investigation, it would be inappropriate for me to comment any further from the investigation point of view as these people are now in our custody assisting us with our inquiries. Um, at this point in time, there's nothing further to say except to say that the persons of interest that we do have are presently with the police assisting us with our inquiries. Is that a good condition, I guess, that the fact that uh, this constable's medical condition hasn't altered dramatically over the last couple of hours that he has potentially stabilised? He's still in a critical condition and it's a matter of time as you well know. As we said um, he's received a gunshot wound and uh, he's in a critical condition and uh, the next short period of time will be vital. Those people that you have detained, where were they um, arrested? Some people were located in the near vicinity by our uh, first response police officers to this incident overnight and another person has been located as a result of uh, further detective inquiries with the use of specialist units. Have they been arrested, the two people? They're assisting us with our inquiries. They're in police custody at the moment. They have not been arrested. They have not been charged with anything at this stage. They're just assisting us with our inquiries at this point in time. And the third person, is that uh, believed to be one of the thieves or is that the No, the three people assisting us with our inquiries in relation to the matter. All other officers that were here are presently being interviewed back at the Coomera Police Headquarters in relation to the incident, and the third person is not a police officer. Is that a, a good weight off the shoulders, I guess, of some of these officers here, you know, knowing that potentially you have the three people involved? Oh, at this point in time, it's, it's very, very um, uh, pleasing that the investigation has located persons of interest, but it's a very, very sad, tragic and very serious uh, day for all members of the Queensland Policing Service and all members of the police um, in relation to police officers responding to a armed robbery in progress and uh, one officer is now fighting for his life. So you're not looking for a large number of people, but are you looking for others in connection with this? Work? No. Do you know this young constable prior to this and do you know, is he a, a pretty determined sort of character? Yes, he's a seasoned detective of, of stature here in the uh, Gold Coast policing environment, as which you all know is a rather busy environment for policing and, um, and to make the further, further tragedy, um, his wife is also a police officer. Do you think this will finally get to the armed robbery squad on the Gold Coast that uh, the police union have been calling for the last couple of months? Oh, I've got no comment in relation to that at this stage. The manhunt for this third person, or for the other people involved in this, um, fairly intense. I mean, you put a huge amount of resources into that. That's correct. What sort of resources have you know, went into it? You know, everyone was sort of turned onto that, that job there. You've got people down from Brisbane have been out there too. That's correct. As any matter of this magnitude, or any member of the public, or any, whether a police officer or anyone else, is seriously injured in, in a matter of this, as you know, um, this area on the southeastern police region has more major incidents than the entire rest of the state of Queensland in a 24-hour period um, of, of serious nature, as you'll be all well aware of, and um, we do this, um, unfortunately, on a quite regular basis. Constable Leading's partner obviously been able to be interviewed now. Has it become clearer just how important her role was in keeping him alive you know, before or immediately after this incident? Yes, some police officers have, um, in their normal course, have been very valuable in that regard. So have you got any more information as to whether or not, um, how many shots were fired? Was the, did, did the police fire their weapons? Was there a shootout or was just one shot to the head? 
At this point in time, um, I'm not prepared to comment in relation to those operational matters. As I said, there's people assisting us with our inquiries, and it'd be highly inappropriate of me at this point in time, while the investigation is still in its early stages, to prophesy one way or another what has taken place until our forensics examination and all our witnesses have been totally interviewed, and in due course the matter will be uh, either before a court. Are you confident of having arrests today? That's what we'll wait and see. Thanks very much everyone, I appreciate that. I'll have another press conference um, later in the day, but there won't be any further operational ones in relation to at this point in time, um, but at, uh, at this point we'll uh, later in the day from a, uh, a welfare update for you. Thanks very much. Can I just check one just before you go? Now, audio broke at the start of that. Just a quick update on, on, on him and his, and his partner and how he's going and how the force is feeling about Look, it's very, very tragic when anyone is uh, is seriously injured from uh, a weapons wound um, in relation to a crime being committed in society. It's very, very serious. But when it's a police officer responding as a first response officer to an incident of this nature um, whilst it's underway, uh, it is even very serious for the police officers. And that's their duty. We have to respond to uh, matters like this. And unfortunately, um, in this particular night, this very brave officer and the rest of the officers um, and he's currently fighting for his life. The police service, like we always are, we're in mourning, but we also have to be here in a very professional way to conduct a very independent investigation in relation to this matter, which I assure you is currently underway. Thank you for that. Thanks very much.